Private student loans are based on an established credit history. This means if you don't have an established credit history, you're more than likely going to need a co-signer to help you get approved for the loan. Lenders typically look at your overall credit score, which usually means the FICO, as well as your employment history and or proof of income. So again, if you don't have those things in your background, it's not a bad thing. It just means you're probably going to need help. Oh, and another thing about co-signers, they can also usually help you qualify for a better interest rate, i.e. a lower interest rate. Now here's an interesting statistic. Roughly 90% of all college students will end up needing a co-signer. It's actually very common. So who would make a good co-signer? Mom, dad, your aunt or uncle, maybe one of your grandparents, or even a trusted mentor. Now for the hard part, the courageous conversation. How do you ask someone to be a co-signer for a private student loan? First, be very, very clear about your needs. Lay out the exact dollar amount you'll be asking for in the loan application. Also, make sure to do your homework. Go online to a site like privatestudentloans.com to understand what the various lender options are. For example, how much can you borrow? Do you have a choice between a fixed and a variable interest rate? And what do those rates look like? The more you outline up front for your co-signer, the more you improve their knowledge and perhaps likelihood of them agreeing to co-sign. And for extra credit, dig into things like the co-signer release option. Learn whether or not your chosen lender allows you to release your co-signer after you've made successful on-time payments, usually for a minimum of two years, sometimes longer, depending on your lender's policies.